And this is just the beginning. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, welcome to the Extreme channel. My name is Mr. X and I am known as many things. I'm known as a hoarder. I am known as a collector. I am known as an immature guy who can't say enough dick jokes. But today I'm going to take you on a room tour. Nah, can't think of a dick joke. So we're actually gonna start up here. This is kind of a room that me and my family like to hang out in, one of our many TV rooms. And this is where a lot of the overflow from the basement actually happens. So this is my one third scale DCU, so based off the cinematic DC world characters go. And I do have quite a few switch outs coming to this. But all these are by license companies. So Prime One made that Peacemaker. Queen Studios made, made that Heath Ledger Joker. Prime One made that Batfleck right there, tactical armor. Kind of my Snyder Cut Justice League area right here. JND's Wonder Woman 2, Prime One's Dark Side. As a reminder, I have video reviews for all of these. Here is the Dark Knight trilogy. You have Prime One Bane, JND Catwoman, and then Queen Studios, Bale Batman and Ledger. Again, all one third scale, three times smaller than a real life version. A couple Jokers, Heath Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix, and I will be switching some of these out, and then the WB Grant Gustin Flash. Then we're gonna come in and continue that trend of DCU characters right over here in a life-size bus. So we have Queen Studios, Batfleck, Infinity Studios Wonder Woman, two custom pieces of Christopher Reeve and Henry Cavill, and then the lineup of Jokers, Joaquin Phoenix, Heath Ledger, both by Queen Studios, and then a custom, Jack Nicholson, and a custom, Keaton Batman. If you followed the channel before, you know my DC Samurai pieces were up here. Now it is just quarter scale, so these are four times smaller than a real life version. Comic, bat, DC pieces. So here's kind of the rogues gallery, sideshow Bane, Harley, custom Riddler, custom Clayface, custom Penguin, sideshow Joker, and then sideshow Nightmare Batman and Scarecrow. And the other side, we have Prime One Brainiac based off the Injustice 2 game. A custom Sinestro, custom King Shark, and custom Killer Croc. Custom means it's a private unlicensed commission, so Warner Brothers, who owns DC, didn't sign off on that. And really quick, some of the autograph stuff. My favorite football teams, we got Joe Montana, John Elway, Tom Osborne, Peyton Manning, some of the receivers from the Broncos, Muhammad Ali, autograph glove, Mike Tyson belt, sweetness, and all these are authenticated by third parties. And then slowly to the basketball wall, we have Jordan, Denver Nuggets, some of the key starters, and then the Joker as well with some of his uh, rookie cards in there. That one actually lights up too. Can't really see it right now. So there is one other piece up here in this area of the home that's kind of overflow. And if you follow the channel recently, you know because it simply would not fit through the door. Oh, a few other things actually. So we have LT, autographed jersey, and directly across from that, a little Broncos display. So first of all, Super Bowl 50, uh, all the starters sign that. Then a piece of the ball from Super Bowl 50. And then we'll go down here is the basement door that we could not get Queen Studios ball rock to fit in. So we're still working on a solution for that. Hope to have one in the next few months. 
Check out the review on this because it was crazy, crazy on why we couldn't get it through the basement door. All right, so now we are gonna move down into the basement. You saw that door earlier and it starts with a stairway of comic slabs. On the left side, I have a ton of Venom slabs. On the right side, a ton of King and Black Venom slash related Knoll slabs. Some of my favorite storylines and some of my favorite covers. Then it slowly transitions to Silver Surfer slabs, my favorite character of all time. Up top, you have a custom life-size pumpkin head bust. Probably my favorite horror creature of all time. And HCG Queen Alien coming out of the wall with Prime One Queen Alien Diorama. And from Pure Arts, T1000 and T800. You're gonna see a ton of autographed memorabilia. Right here you have from the original Star Wars, everyone from C-3PO, Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, James Earl Jones, Mark Hamill, Frank Oz, and of course, the great George Lucas. All the autograph stuff, as we talked about, you're gonna see has been authenticated. More uh, lightsabers, Mark Hamill, Adam Driver as Kylo Ren, Daisley Ridley as Rey. And down here, you have more slabs. So this is kind of a wall dedicated to Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, Ghost Light, one of my new favorite series, and then just more Silver Surfer in general. Up here, you have an empty case because I plan to display some random Marvel and DC characters. You'll notice I like to pair a lot of CGC slabs with my favorite characters. Here's Darkhawk and Sleepwalker who have never been made into a collectible statue. I would love both those characters to be made. But right here, you have Prime One Studio, Justice Buster next to XM Hulk Buster. Kind of a mesh between worlds right behind them is a DC vs. Marvel comic. And then again, empty displays. These are Maji cases. I'm gonna put a link in the description below of different cases you can use to display your collectibles. And then moving over here is kind of my Fantastic Four. Now I also don't have all my lighting that I traditionally have on. You can see lights on the ceiling. I don't have those lit up right now, but you have my favorite statue right here. It's a custom Silver Surfer. Custom again is a private and licensed commission. Sideshow Galactus, again with some traditional slabs next to it. Iron Studios 110th scale Stan Lee. A custom quarter scale Mephisto. And a custom quarter scale Dr. Doom on Throne. XM Studios Thanos and Lady Death, a custom Silver Surfer and Super Scroll, and then a custom Fantastic Four line. You have Invisible Woman, Human Torch, The Thing, and Watcher. These are all quarter scale with the exception of the Watcher because he's polymorphic, so meaning four times smaller than an original uh, version in real life. Down below, you have a Black Surfer with some more slabs, and two, this is all custom in this shelf right here, Terax, another Herald of Galactus, some more Silver Surfers. All custom quarter scale. Then moving on down here, you have a bar, which has a three tap keg, a fridge full of beer, a lot of liquor, and a Bartesian, this is kind of like a Keurig for Alcohol, because I like to drink a lot. You can see we're even using some rimmers today. A TV in the kitchen, and then we have a Hulk display. So now we move over to my Hulk display, and it's incomplete, but it's gonna be complete probably about a week after you view this video. There's a huge empty spot on top for one of the most expensive statues and biggest quarter scale statues I've ever purchased. Some of my favorite slabs. right back there. And then here we have a couple custom pieces. So a custom Rolk General Ross, Red Hulk, Smashing Juggernaut's helmet and matching slabs. A Gray Hulk, custom Stan Lee, XM Studios Transformation Hulk. And again, one of my favorite covers. And 
an old Kirby style hole, but I can't wait to show you that one on top. It's really big. That's what she said. <laughs> After the Hulk display, back to some more slabs. These are some original Fantastic Four from the Silver Age, graded anywhere from uh, 3.0 all the way up to 9.8. And in here is actually autograph of all the characters in Avengers 2. We missed over some autographs of Friends and 24, just some TV shows I like over there. We have the Robeson. Uh, Optimus Prime, make sure to check out this video. This actually transforms. Pretty cool toy, uh, which you would expect so for $2,000. Then you have Prime One Studios Berserk pieces. So Berserk is a Japanese manga that uh, you can actually see some of the books in the back there. But this is kind of the key characters. I've owned more than this, but I've sold them in the past. Now, as we go throughout the basement here, you're gonna see a bunch of statues that I actually moved from my office. You can check out this video right here, where I actually moved 150 statues from my office to my basement. And then moving on, you have where the magic happens. So this is where I film all the videos. Every single statue you see today, you can find a detailed video on that I actually film right here. On this back wall, you have X-Men. And then we have a Venom dedicated wall over here. And behind it is a ton of autographed music memorabilia on top of some CGC comic slabs. Some, again, they are store, all these slabs are stories that I, I really enjoy or just are very rare. So this entire top wall, with very few exception, are all quarter scale X-Men pieces that are custom. A few licensed pieces from Sideshow. We have the Wolverine, XM Studios. We have their Storm. But we have a custom Iceman, Cyclops vs. Sentinel, Banshee vs. Sentinel, Rogue vs. Sentinel, Kitty Pride, Cyclops vs. Sentinel, or I, I apologize, Colossus vs. Sentinel. I said I like to drink. I'm really drunk right now. XM Studios Gambit, which per Todd Father, we need to put on a riser. We have a custom Magneto vs. Sentinel, XM Studios Dark Phoenix, a custom cycle or uh, Juggernaut, a custom Archangel, XM Studios Apocalypse, and a custom Deadpool. And then down below, again, more slabs throughout. You're gonna see that everywhere. Stuff signed by uh, Eminem, Halsey, Ed Sheeran, some of my favorite bands, John Williams. Then we have some of the Brotherhood down here, a custom. These are all custom right here. Again, custom means private and licensed commission. We have a Sabretooth, Sinister, Madeline Pryor, Omega Red, an unpainted statue of Pyro, Mystique, XM Studios, Professor X, Custom Beast, a custom Domino, a bunch of Wolverine statues. These are all custom right here in the middle. Wolverine is a samurai. A Savage Warrior, Savage Devil, Fatty, and of course, Soldier. Here is my Regal Robot Emperor's Chair. Custom Psylocke vs. Sentinel, Custom Jubilee vs. Sentinel. Then we have uh, Sideshow Studios, X-23 in the back. Down below, a Custom Ghost Rider with some licensed Iron Studios and Sideshow Daredevils. More coming. Custom Nightcrawler and, of course, a custom Kingpin. So that's the uh, X-Men slash Marvel wall. And then we move over to a Venomized wall. A lot of this will be changing in the next year or so. But uh, I want to go over the Venomized pieces first. So Venomized Batman, this has no really comic basis. But the ones over here do. We have a Venomized Loki with matching slap a Venomized Wolverine statue. These are all quarter scale, so four times smaller than a real life version. Venomized Deadpool. And again, I have individual videos on all these, Venomized Hulk. We have Toxin, a symbiote character in the Marvel Universe. We have the MVC, Venom right here. So Marvel vs. Capcom. I do have a Venomized Ghost Rider in route right now. Some random Venom pieces, Eddie Brock, with their matching slabs, both there and then up on top as well. And again, check out the individual videos for each of these. 
few unpainted venoms down here. And then some random carnage piece, quarter scale custom, and custom venomized Mary Jane. Then we're gonna move over into kind of a theater room that is kind of horror slash sci-fi pieces right here. So on the left, you have Alien and Predator. Prime One Studios made the top two pieces. We have their one-third scale Jungle Hunter Deluxe, and then their quarter scale Assassin Predator, along with the matching dog below. XM Studios Predator King, which is comic-based as opposed to movie-based with all the other pieces, and Prime One Studios Alien Dog. Right down here is a custom Mandalorian helmet, kind of sitting in the theater style seats right here, which also have light up features, but it really messes with the lighting on this video, so I've left them off. You have a quarter scale Wampa and Tauntaun piece in the middle here. This is custom, very rare, very huge, as you can see. Elite Creature Collectibles made this Marcus and Lycan piece. I'm a big sports fan, as you saw upstairs, so unfortunately I follow the Huskers, which have a bad past along with the Broncos. But these are one third scale. Pretty much most of the things on this wall are. Amazing pieces. Make sure to check out this video as well because I got in trouble with the news for it. Just some random pieces. Audrey 2, Tremors, autographed wand from Harry Potter. Down below are quarter scale. PCS made this Howling, my favorite werewolf movie. Again, a uh, pumpkin head from PCS and a custom Curse of the Spawn. And then you have Stripe sitting there watching TV as well. On this back wall, to kind of give you a reference where we were before, there's the bar, there's my filming area. You have autographed stuff from Pulp Fiction, Terminator, Lord of the Rings, and some Lord of the Ring pieces. That large Lord of the Rings Balrog you saw was supposed to go right here. I'm still working on a solution because we couldn't get it down the stairs. But Prime One Studios, Balrog vs. Gandalf, 120th scale. Jaws from Iron Studios, 120th scale diorama, amazing piece. And then this little nook over here, we have some other pieces as well. So right here is what I call my throne wall. Every character is at a throne. This is gonna have some variations over the next year, so really important reason to not only make sure you've liked this video, but you sub to the channel. Here's kind of an X-Men display. We have Apocalypse, Sinister, and then this knoll right here is actually going to be replaced by a Magneto. Few versions of Thanos right here, as well as uh, Sideshow Thanos. So everything we looked at until now on the throne wall was custom, but this is made by Sideshow Collectibles. These are both customs, this amazing Loki and Thor. And then down below we have a custom Hulk and Galactus. Now, at the time I'm filming this, I am waiting for a custom Maestron, or not custom, I apologize, XM Studios Maestron Throne to go in this empty case right here. We have a custom Doctor Doom, a custom Namor, a custom Black Panther on Throne. And then up here we have Queen Studios. They created a Batman Who Laughs on Throne, quarter scale. Everything on this wall is quarter scale. A uh, Batman from the Dark Knight Metal, which is also where from Batman Who Laughs and a custom dark side standing in front of his throne. So this is what I call my throne wall. I have a few additions coming. I have a Venom on throne, and then of course the XM Studios Maestro we talked about. This wall right here is gonna be uh, transformed over the next year. So again, make sure you, you stay tuned. Gonna move the Rocky um, diorama that I have a glove signed by Sylvester Stallone. Uh, move that out of the way. We have a life-size Han Solo. We have a life-size Iron Man Mark 7 from the MCU. That's from Queen Studios. It also has light up features on the eyes and the hands. Next to him, we're gonna put a life-size Iron Spider from Queen Studios and a life-size Mark 85. Some more aut autograph stuff back here. Goonies, Karate Kid, as a reminder, everything's authenticated by a third party. And then this is kind of my childhood nostalgia right here. So first we have the animated turtle villains surrounding the last Ronin, which is absolutely an amazing story. All of these are made by a company called PCS Collectibles. 
any of these statues that are not custom but are licensed, check out the link in the description of this video. There are links you can buy this stuff at if it's not sold out. And then below, you have original NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, as well as Sega. We have Sonic, Mega Man, Mario, Bowser, and a Mario diorama. Everything in here is by PCS as well, or I'm sorry, everything in here is by First Four Figures. First Four Figures is a company that's by other than this custom diorama. This MAME arcade game that has about 5,000 games on it is actually gonna go upstairs next to some one-up uh, one arcades I have for my children. And then right here, a shuffleboard table. And then we move to one-third scale Prime One Studios DC pieces. So these are all DC from Prime One Studio with two exceptions. And behind them, we have a ton of autograph memorabilia. Avatar, Fight Club, Ted, Clerks, 300, The Dark Knight, Shawshank Redemption, um, Willy Wonka, uh, Christmas Vacation, original Superman, Christopher Reeve, Rain Man, Terminator. But over here, a little niche of the Justice League. You have by Prime One Studio, like I said, everything is made by Prime One Studio here. Oh, we also have some more autograph memorabilia. The new uh, Justice or uh, uh, Snyder Cut Justice League, as well as Jack Nicholson as Joker. But you have Wonder Woman vs. Hydra, Batman Hush, Superman Hush, all one-third scale, Zod, comic-based, Lobo, one-third scale. And then on the back, more DC villains. You have Doomsday from Prime One Studio, Scarecrow, Two-Face, Joker with the matching slab. This is one of the exceptions. This is a custom one-third scale Batman. Poison Ivy from Prime One Studio, Mr. Freeze, Killer Croc, and Harley. You can see some empty shelves here. We have some more pieces coming. This right here is part of the giveaway we're doing. It's a quarter scale Dark Knight Metal Superman. I'll talk about that in a second. And then we have a Iron Studios one-third scale Harley. Now this bottom row is all from Dark Knight Metal. It's a newer story in the last three years where Batman comes from all these different universes or Bruce Wayne does. You can see the matching comic slabs right below them. But first you have Dawnbreaker where he merged with Green Lantern. Batman Who Laughs where he merged with Joker. Batman vs. Joker Dragon. These are all by Prime One Studio. They're again, one third scale. And if you're wondering about the display cases I have these on, again, check the link in the description below. I'll have a link to that video. You have Red Death, where he merged with Flash, Grim Knight, Merciless, and then Superman from that same storyline where you can see he actually even killed Batman. So that is it. That is the entire display, everything we talked about and looked at. And I continue to whittle this down. I actually sell these at the end of every month. Again, a good reason why you should subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification if you're interested in any of these in the future. But it's my place to relax, my safe haven. We will be giving all of these statues away plus additional ones at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. And something I can share with you guys. I really appreciate everybody here, so please hit that like button. It really helps the channel. And make sure you're subscribed. A lot more videos coming up. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.